Hello and welcome. Let's have some fun, if you can call it that, and try to solve this simple question. And the question is, the product of two consecutive even numbers is 168. Algebraically determine the numbers. So the first thing to do with any worded problem is to try and formulate an equation by using symbols to represent the things that you want to find. Uh, so I'm going to let x equal some even number and I'm going to let y equal the next even number now an integer n can be any whole number from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. It can also be negative whole numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the best way to represent an even number, I believe, is to write it as 2 times n. And because y is the next number, it's n plus 1 is the next sequence in the numbers, and we've got to multiply that two by 2 to make it even as well. Alright, so we know that x multiplied by y is equal to 168. So that implies then that 2n times 2n plus 1 in brackets is equal to 168 and uh, that will give us 4n times n plus 1 in brackets is equal to 168 and that will mean then if we divide both sides by 4 we will get n times n plus 1 is equal to 42. Now if I expand out this bracket I will get n squared plus n is equal to 42. And now I'll bring the problem up here. If I take away 42 from both sides I will get n squared plus n minus 42 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is a very familiar form of uh, equation uh, known as a quadratic or a trinomial. We're going to follow example 1 on how to solve this quadratic and we're going to note that we have a coefficient of positive 1 for the n, for the middle term n, and we have a negative 42 for our number at the end. And I'll leave a link to example 1 in the uh, comment uh, in the description below. But for now we need to find factors of the number 42, negative 42, that will add to give positive 1. So let's list them one by one. The factors of negative 42 are negative 1 and 42. Well these to add to give 41 so that's no good. Uh, the next set of factors will be negative 2 and 21. Well, these do not add to give positive 1 either. Next set of factors will be 3 and 14. Unfortunately, these don't add to positive 1 either. But what about our next set of factors? Negative 6 and 7. Well, it looks like we have a winner because negative 6 and 7 add to 41 so that means I can rewrite this trinomial as n squared minus 6n plus 7n is equal to sorry minus 42 is equal to 0 I'll bring the problem up here again 
So I can factorise a n out in the first two terms. Looking at the first two terms, I can factorise out an n, and that will leave me with n minus 6 in brackets. And in the second two terms, I can factor out a 7, and that will also leave me with n minus 6 in brackets. Now, n minus 6 is a common factor uh, of these two terms, so I can factor that out. I'll leave the equal 0 here. So the next step is to factor out the n minus 6, so we'll get n plus 7 in brackets and then n minus 6 in brackets equals 0. So that implies that n plus 7 is 0 or n minus 6 is equal to 0. So therefore n is either equal to negative 7 or n is equal to positive 6. So these are the two possible solutions for n. Let's see if they work. Um, we know that x is equal to 2n. So x is either equal to negative 14 or positive 12. And y is equal to then 2n plus 1. So that either equals negative 12 or 14. Well, as it happens, both of these groups of um, solutions will multiply to equal 168. So therefore, both sets of numbers work. So we have two possible solutions to this answer. So two consecutive numbers we can have in the first instance negative 14 and negative 12. And equally we can also have 12 and 14. Both of these sets of numbers will multiply to give 168 and both of these um, satisfy as solutions to this question. So there's our question answered. Please give me a thumbs up if this video has helped. If you have any math question that I can help you with, please leave me a comment in the comment section. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.